In his final log aboard Seamaster, Sir Peter Blake wrote that the hardest part about any big project is to begin. We have begun. On the 10th of February 2014, 12 student voyagers departed on a young Blake expedition aboard the HMNZS Wellington, bound for the Auckland Islands. Our mission was to experience the magic of these sub-Antarctic islands for ourselves and then return to New Zealand ready to inspire 4 million others to act on the critical issues facing our oceans and sea life. We have a passion and we want to make a difference. We were lucky enough to join a group of scientists, educators and New Zealand leaders in the Auckland Islands and help draft the proposal for Blake Station, a world leading climate research station which we hope to see built on the Auckland Islands in 2015. We kind of sit here at this junction in the ocean and climate system. To the south of us is the Antarctic Circumpolar Current and all the Antarctic water. To the north of us, it's starting to mix with water coming in from the Tasman Sea. And then right above us, we're in the core of the westerly wind belt. We're at the spot where they change rapidly from one to the other, which means that even small changes, we should be able to measure. Each day, we completed important surveys for the construction of the Blake Station. Surrounded by a thrilling array of wildlife that call the Auckland Islands their home. From playful seals to rare yellow-eyed penguins, giant albatrosses to roaring sea lions, we experience the wonder of this incredible sea life, all flourishing in this untouched environment. After two amazing weeks, we packed away our gun boots, put away our surveying tools, and began the voyage back to Bluff. Now we've all returned home richer from having experienced the magnificence of the Auckland Islands and for having played our part in Sir Peter Blake's legacy. When people said, why bother? Sir Peter Blake would say, because it's too important not to. We say, because we want our children and grandchildren to swim in clean beaches and see seabirds and marine life in our harbours, not just reading about it in books. And we all say that we need to care The hardest part of any big project is to begin, but we have begun, we are underway, we have a passion and we want to make a difference.